In this example, I have organized all Spitfire Symphonic strings, brass and woodwinds into a single iPad preset. The Spitfire instruments use similar control change assignments for the dynamics, vibrato, etc. So, my plan is to assign these parameter names and control assignments in the first iPad interface preset and copy it to the other interfaces using the new copy and paste buttons. I'll press the settings button in the iPad to open the control assignments dialog. Look, the first control assignment is already set to control change 1, dynamics in this case, so I will go on to the vibrato assignment, which is set to control 21. Let's continue with the other assignments. Note, you can move the control assignment slider to any closed value and use the fine adjustment buttons to set the value precisely. It's time to set the default fader values. See, I will use the new iPad Mixer Zoom buttons to expand the vertical zoom to set the values with a high precision. Finally, I'll zoom the mixer according to the articulation button's free workspace. The mixer assignments of the first interface are completed, so I will press the copy button here. Let's switch to the second interface and paste the assignments there. Just for the show, I will open the control assignments dialog so you can see what happens. Look, when I press the paste button, a new dialog appears offering you a selective pasting. Here, you can choose what to paste in the target interface. You can paste only the fader labels, the control assignments, the fader values and so on. I will select Paste All, which is very convenient in my case. See, all fader labels, the control assignments and the fader default values are pasted as expected. I'll zoom the mixer and switch to the next interface directly from the upper numerical buttons. You can repeat the procedure for the other preset interfaces. Finally, you have to save that preset in the iPad and backup it in the computer via the iTunes application, for example. I prefer iTunes because you can transfer multiple presets in one go, which is a very convenient feature. Thanks for watching this video.